DSLR. Whether you are a professional photographer or not, there is no way you wouldn't have heard of a DSLR. Commonly known as an advanced photography device, a DSLR stands for Digital Single Lens Reflex, a camera invented in 1999 by Nikon and Canon. It is an upgraded version of the traditional film cameras, which despite being popular in the 19th century, lack the quality and resolution we enjoy today. A DSLR contains multiple mirrors and digital sensors that allow photographers to create high-resolution images. They have a system of prisms fixed inside them for capturing the light and reflecting it into the photographer's eye. This creates a clear preview of the scene to be captured, giving you an idea of how it will look in the image. When pressing the shutter button, this preview converts to an image with the help of the digital sensor. DSLRs have the feature of adapting to different views with the help of their interchangeable lenses. Moreover, they allow the users to control the basic features manually, giving them creative freedom. Despite its heavy weight and large size, a DSLR is one of the best cameras ever invented. Mirrorless cameras. As the name suggests, mirrorless cameras are devices without lenses or mirrors to reflect light and create images. Instead, they use EVF electronic viewfinder to produce a preview of the scene you intend to capture. It would not be wrong to call them an advanced alternative to DSLRs, which have made photography more convenient. A major benefit of mirrorless cameras is the absence of mirrors in them. That is because devices with multiple mirrors and prisms are much heavier and difficult to carry around. Mirrorless cameras give us the advantage of quality with portability and are the best for people who want high-quality images yet are reluctant to carry DSLRs along. A major advantage of mirrorless cameras is their stealth. To elaborate, they allow users to click photos without sound, making them ideal for wildlife photography or any other project that requires an unobstructed environment. Hence, if you are working on something similar and seek portability, efficiency, and quality, a mirrorless camera should be your choice. Compact cameras. If you are a casual photographer, eager to capture small, everyday experiences in your life, a compact camera is for you. Also known as a point-and-shoot device, a compact camera is lightweight and easy to use, requiring no photography knowledge to be operated. The compact camera is an advanced version of the Kodak Brownie camera, invented by Gerard Eastman in 1900. It was a device popular among people because of its simplicity and affordability. However, with the addition of advanced features within it in the recent era, it has begun to flourish more. Compact cameras have a simple mechanism involving a lens that focuses the light on the sensor and captures the image. These cameras have an automatic mechanism that handles complex features like shutter speed and aperture, sparing you from the need to go through detailed manuals and do the settings. Previously, compact cameras did not ensure a good image quality, especially in low-light conditions because of the small size of their sensors. However, the recent upgrades in the device have improved its mechanism significantly, boosting the positive feedback for its performance. Bridge cameras. Bridge cameras are a relatively new, yet popular addition to the list of photography devices. It is created by combining the powerful features of DSLRs and compact cameras and is much more advanced than both. They are the best choice for people who want image quality, like DSLRs, but are reluctant to use them because of their weight and size. The features of bridge cameras are more technologically advanced than traditional compact cameras. They have a simple operating mechanism with fixed lenses that are powerful enough to cover a range of focal lengths. This enables the photographers to capture broader images with multiple subjects. Bridge cameras allow a manual adjustment of settings like shutter speed and aperture, a feature similar to DSLRs. Therefore, if you are a professional photographer who wants a creative adjustment in their images, bridge cameras are ideal for you. Due to their benefits and ease of operation, bridge cameras are recently gaining a lot of popularity, not just among photographers, but also among travelers and explorers. Action cameras. As the name suggests, action cameras are devices designed to capture photos and videos of adventurous activities while being immersed in them. They are compact and portable, making them ideal for people who want to capture their thrilling experiences. The first person to invent an action camera was Nick Woodman, who introduced his device GoPro in 2002. It was designed on the concept of reliability, fulfilling the need to capture instances that traditional cameras could not. Action cameras operate on a simple mechanism and can withstand water and dust. Because of their small size, they can easily be fixed anywhere, allowing you to film your adventures with surprising clarity. Action cameras produce high-definition footage with a resolution of up to 4K. That, along with their wide-angle lenses, with a broad frame of view, makes them ideal for action shots. Many action cameras also have the features of increasing or decreasing the video speed, enabling users to show their creativity in filming. Moreover, the built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth options in these cameras allow the users to control them remotely and aid in the sharing and editing of captured moments. Hence, if you are an adventure enthusiast who wants to capture daring attempts in challenging places, an action camera would be your best companion. Rugged cameras. 
Rugged cameras are a subtype of action camera, specially designed for capturing intense action scenes that a normal camera would fail to record. They are resistant to water, dust, and shock, can withstand freezing temperatures, and can be carried almost everywhere. Whether you are on a surfing adventure, diving in the ocean depths, or exploring mines or caves, a rugged camera would be your perfect companion. Because it is an action camera type, it has a mechanism similar to theirs, but is designed to be tough and withstand every kind of atmosphere. A rugged camera is a pocket choice for travelers, explorers, adventurers, and even casual photographers. Medium format cameras. Have you ever seen the cameras set in studios or those used for fashion shoots with a resolution that surprises you? Those are the medium format cameras, the devices that professional photographers use for their projects. Because of their large films and digital sensors, these cameras produce clear, high-resolution images covering even the intricate details of the subject. The medium format camera was invented by George Eastman, the founder of Kodak, who advocated the role of film in photography, yet it was not very popular back then. At the beginning of the 20th century, however, an advanced version of this device was produced, leading it to gain popularity. Medium format cameras have a comparably complex mechanism because of their advanced features. They contain interchangeable lenses and allow the photographers to control the settings manually. Hence, if you are a professional who wants to capture images with exceptional clarity detail and versatility, a medium format camera should be your choice. Instant cameras. Also known as Polaroid cameras, instant cameras are an amazing addition to the list of photography devices that click an image and develop its hard copy. They're an invention of an American scientist, Edwin H. Land, who introduced them in the late 1940s. Instant cameras have a self-developing film that can print an image you clicked within minutes. They don't allow much creative control to the users, but work simply and effectively. When you get ready to click an image with an instant camera, the film pack covered with reactive chemicals gets loaded into it. From the pack of negative sheets inside the camera, the roller picks one and places it in front of the lens when the shutter is pressed. When you take the shot, the light passes through the lens and exposes the film. This causes a chemical reaction to take place on the negatives. As a result of this reaction, the negative gets pressed down and the clicked image gets printed on it, creating a hard copy. Originally, instant cameras were analog and did not allow the users to edit the image before printing it. However, with recent technological advancements, we now have digital instant cameras that enable editing before printing with many other advanced features. This uniqueness in their functionality makes instant cameras a preferred choice for most photographers. 360 degrees cameras. Have you ever experienced something like skydiving that you wanted to capture from every angle, but could not? That's normal since moving your camera around in such situations is difficult. However, technology never disappoints. And that's why we have 360 degree cameras, an advanced solution for multi-directional shots. Widely known as omnidirectional cameras, 360 degree cameras can capture everything around them, regardless of the angle in a single panoramic shot. They create images resembling 3D, making the viewers feel like they are a part of it. That is the reason why they are also called 3D cameras. The first omnidirectional camera was introduced by Jonas Beale in 2011 under the name Pano. It was a device resembling a cricket ball that could capture multiple images from all angles when thrown in the air. Based on that device, modern 360-degree cameras were created with features much more advanced than the former. In today's era, 360-degree cameras have become a highly preferred device for large visual fields, such as shooting panoramas. They have also become a major part of virtual and augmented reality projects and a favorite of travel adventures, providing ease in capturing monoscopic and stereoscopic videos. Security cameras. Unlike other devices we have discussed, a security camera is not used for photography, but for surveillance purposes. It literally means a device to regulate people to prevent crime and is the most common gadget found in every house. The concept of a surveillance camera originated in 1942 with the invention of CCTV by Walter Bruch. With time, the technological upgrades in that system have given us the effective devices we have today. Unlike the traditional CCTV system, some modern security cameras are sensitive to motion and activate when they detect movement. While some stay active 24-7, providing continuous surveillance, some start recording when they get a signal. In every way, they ensure that our property is not unattended and discourage the criminals from making a move. Security cameras come in the form of wired or wireless devices. While the wireless needs Wi-Fi to connect to other devices and share the stock in their memory, the wired camera needs a proper connection with other devices for sharing and regulation purposes. The strength of security cameras lies in their efficient 27-7 workability. While a normal camera might stop working after a limited time, security cameras remain active for as long as they are installed. Moreover, their modern and advanced features like live feeds, recorded footage playback, and facial recognition 
set them apart from ordinary photography and videography devices, webcams. In today's era, there might not be anyone unfamiliar with webcams. They are one of the most popular camera types used by people from all walks of life, from remote workers to students. Webcams are a key to online communication that capture images, videos, and audio data, transmitting it in real time on the internet. They have a simple structure comprising a lens, a processor, and an image sensor. The lens focuses the light on the sensor which captures images and videos. This data is then converted to digital format, ready to be transmitted over the internet. This device was introduced in 1991 by Dr. Quentin Stafford Fraser and Paul Jardetsky from the University of Cambridge and has become a popular gadget since then. Unlike other cameras, webcams come in various shapes and sizes and are even built into some devices, like smartphones and tablets, eliminating the need for operating them separately. They are a significant means of face-to-face -face communication when in-person interactions are limited. Smartphone cameras. Smartphone cameras are the most common type of camera used by every person. As the name suggests, these are devices built into your smartphone, allowing you to capture your everyday experiences without an actual camera. The first smartphone with a built-in camera was introduced in 1997 by Felipe Kahn and became popular instantly. Within a few years, these camera phones had replaced cameras for most people and became the most popular image capturing device. Smartphone cameras have a mechanism similar to webcams. At the front of them is a lens that captures the light, directing it to the camera. This light is then converted to electrical signals by the sensor and then to an image by software. Because of the slim profiles of modern day phones, smartphone cameras are adjusted in size accordingly. Moreover, their modern features like autofocus and shooting mode have raised the standard of photography to another level. In the era of advancing digital technology, smartphone cameras can be called the key to a convenient tool for expression and communication. Rangefinder cameras. Are you into street photography, documentary making, or photojournalism? If yes, the rangefinder camera is for you. Known for their portability and excellent focusing mechanism, rangefinder cameras are highly preferred among many professional and non-professional photographers. They are an invention of Oskar Barnek, a Hungarian engineer, and have a unique mechanism. Unlike any other camera, the rangefinder cameras allow the user to measure the distance between them and their subject, giving a sharp focus. In the viewfinder, the rangefinder camera displays two images of the same subject to the photographer in a slightly overlapping form. By adjusting them to align perfectly, the photographer sets an accurate focus, a process known as split image focusing. Rangefinder cameras do not have a mirror mechanism, making them less bulky and more efficient. While they might not be as efficient as modern digital cameras, their performance in photography makes them an ideal choice for enthusiasts and professionals alike. Drone cameras. Have you ever seen an aerial view of a scene in a movie or documentary that fascinates you? In the past, that was something extraordinary. Yet nowadays, drone cameras have made it possible for normal people to enjoy such videography experiences. Drone cameras are unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs that provide a unique perspective of a photo or video from a certain height. If talking about their nature, they are just like a regular camera, but smaller in size and with a unique design. They look like small aircraft with inbuilt or fixed cameras. The concept of drone cameras originated in the 21st century with Abraham Kareem being its pioneer. He originally designed it to be used for military surveillance, the popularity of those UAVs led to expanding their usage beyond the military domain. Nowadays, drone cameras are widely used in photography, documentaries, and movie making. They have a simple mechanism, a rechargeable battery, and a GPS tracker for navigation purposes. They can be controlled using a remote or a mobile application, making it convenient for users to operate them. Drone cameras are a relatively simple, yet remarkable device for image and video capturing that have taken photography to another level.